Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. There is a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sisters who is in Zim. The message, it reads like this. It is a narration of that message that she sent to me. The message reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity my brother i want to confess that my husband is indeed a ritualist and the things that he is doing right now i do not like it at all because he is affecting the future of these young women that he is sleeping with currently he is targeting these young women that love men that have a lot of money and he is targeting girls that are going to the university of Zim usually brings them over to our house so these young women whenever he brings them over to my house they'll think that he does not love me but what they don't know is that the room in which they go into this room it is actually our altar because we have two bedrooms so he can bring them late at night then they'll sneak into that room they will think that you'll be sneaking with them into our bedroom and i won't be home but i'll be at home this bedroom of ours it is actually an altar in which he does all of his rituals and evil stuff and i do not like what he's doing my story it started when me and my husband when we were in botswana my husband he was working for this other bus company but he was not yet a driver then he got interest he said that he also wanted to be a driver he got his license and he started driving trucks the man he started prostituting himself he had a lot of girlfriends but these were local women that were from Botswana he was giving them a lot of money I was in pain and I wanted to end the relationship but at the end of the day i said with the kids that me and my husband had together even if i say that i do not love him anymore because he is cheating on me if i end this marriage with him maybe i am also going to meet another man who is going to cheat on me so i stayed with my husband as painful as it was he kept dating a lot of women that i can't even know how many they were when we were still in Botswana and he was only choosing the local women and when he was sleeping with all of these women what I didn't know was that my husband he was using them for his own rituals because apparently he had met another person who had introduced him to these rituals so the oath that he took and for him to satisfy his altar he had to sleep with a number of women while he's to be were in Botswana my husband started making a lot of money and when I would ask him where was he getting all of this money from because I was scared that one day the police was going to come and knocking on our doorstep so I just asked him where he was getting the money from and he didn't give me a clear answer then one day my husband told me that we had to quickly rush out of Botswana and I said you see this man is now a criminal I'm sure that he robbed someone else later on my husband explained everything to me and I understood the reason as to why we had to quickly rush out of Botswana it was because the number of women that he had slept with when we were still in that country the local women the the number was now fine that was the number that his altar wanted so soon after sleeping with that last woman who was from Botswana then he, we were not supposed to spend a lot of days in Botswana one morning we just woke up and we left that country i left everything even my underwears i left them he didn't even give me time to pack i asked him about the furniture that we had he said that we are going to make a plan then i will place it on the truck so that they can be brought home back to zim when we arrived to zim to my surprise my husband he was showing me this house and he said woman this is now going to be your house and i said what about the property that we left in Botswana the new bed and everything but he started insulting me he then took me into the cup into the CBD and he took me to this other furniture shop and he said woman I want you to select everything 
that you want to be in your house i said but i cannot do that because we bought a lot of furniture when we were in botswana he forced me brother nashi the furniture that we have in our house right now he forced me to buy all of that stuff and the things that we left in botswana they pain they give me a lot of pain because as a woman it is not easy to just leave your clothes even your underwears in another country simply because your husband has made a lot of money so i started asking him a lot of questions if he had committed a crime if he had killed anyone when we were still in that country but he said that no the reason as to why we had to quickly leave it was because this was what his rituals wanted i said what are you trying to tell me he said that he was now a ritualist and his rituals demand that he has to keep on sleeping with women this is what his altar wants because he used the discharge that comes out of the woman the fluids when a man is having intercourse with a woman that fluid that comes out so that fluid that will be sticking on his manhood that would have been produced by that woman that is a way that we take it and we place it on the altar when he told me this story i didn't know how to react i didn't know if i should cry if i should laugh at myself if i should feel sorry and if i should scream at him but he said with all the kids that we had even if you leave me right now where are you going to and i looked at my condition i didn't i never went to school i am not that highly educated and i said let me just stay with him this is what the lord has chosen for me and this is the life that i am going to be living now i then started staying with my husband my husband now told me that we have to stay here in zim for a particular period of time because this is what the altar wants this altar the covenant that he had with the devil is that he has to constantly sleep with these young women who are going to use it that is the women that he's targeting so he can bring them over and he will lie to his victim that i am not at home maybe i would have gone somewhere but i'll be sleeping in my bedroom i can i will hear that naive young woman walking into my house and feeling impressed thinking that one day she is going to be the lady of the house she will be she will then be taken into our second bedroom where the demons of that altar stay then they will make love my husband immediately will take back this young woman back to her place where she will be staying when he comes back he does not wash his manhood then will start to make love and after making love when he inserts his spams into my body my husband will quickly grab this other clay pot and sometimes i even lift my legs so that when he is going to take that clay pot the spams will not come out when he would have returned back with that clay pot i'll quickly get out of bed and sometimes i can even squat whilst i'll be on top of the bed then i'll place that clay pot between my legs so that his spams can fall out of my private part and his semen will be mixed with the fluid of that young lady that you would have slept with since he does not wash his manhood after sleeping with these young women as for my husband i asked him so for how long are you going to be doing this he didn't give me a proper answer recently we were just chilling and he asked me where do i want to go next it seems as if the number of zim women that he was told to sleep with i think that the number very soon is going to be okay he asked me a lot of questions if i wanted to go and stay in south africa because financially we are able to do so or in the united kingdom so he just asked me that question so i am suspecting that he is waiting for his altar to tell him which women from which particular country is he supposed to target so my husband he used his own sperm to make money but this sperm for it to be accepted by the altar he has to sleep with these desperate young women and after that he does not wipe his manhood or to bath himself then he will come and he will sleep with me and after that then his sperm that he would have left in my body will be accepted by the altar these are the rituals that my husband is doing and they make me to feel very terrible even though we are living a comfortable life
Yo, dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister right there. Strange things do happen in this world.